my name is Adriana Macias and I've been a volunteer with the Social and Public Art Research Center now for a few years. Hi, my name is Daniel Gutierrez. Um, I've been with Spark for a year and a half. I'm currently a technical director and I've been installing and working on most of all of the art installations that we've had at Spark. My name is Maria Flores. I work with YPI Youth Policy Institute as an art tutor. Hi, my name is Samuel Camarena and I'm a student at SMC. I've been interning with Spark for over a year now. Hi, my name is Ravina Costa. I'm a third year uh, art major at UCLA. I'm going to enter my senior year next year. Hello, my name is Sasha Davila. I'm a recent graduate from UCLA and I volunteered and interned with Spark over the past year and I am now serving as a Getty intern through the Getty Multicultural Undergraduate Internship Program. My name is Felipe Sanchez and I'm with the Social and Public Art Resource Center, better known as SPARC. We are a community-based public art center dedicated to art, community, social justice and education uh, in Los Angeles. And uh, we're here in Echo Park. SPARC is leading a uh, public project uh, for this school uh, named after uh, Chicana author Sandra Cisneros. We were approached by the principal and the uh, school uh, several months ago to do a work of art that would uh, reflect uh, the school and certainly um, the work of Sandra Cisneros. And uh, when the youth return in September, they will um, uh, see this mural, a beautiful mural that will define their school. I feel like this is a particularly uh, uh, poignant mural because it is in line with Spark's uh, larger goal of sort of education. Um, in that, you know, it sort of puts a visual picture to what the person is. I mean, I can't tell you the times that I've been to several different schools and they've been named after all sorts of notable people. And, you know, you didn't, uh, I never really felt this connection to the legacy of that person. And I think that this sort of visually embodies all of that. Um, here we are painting and installing a technique that we've been using recently, um, it's called a pounce and then filling with paint and ultimately we're going to move into a, a stencil technique on this piece. Um, I find it's important for us to be out here doing this, um, not only to bring awareness to the local community that we still are doing painting murals and working within the community and the schools, but also to show people that we can do different techniques by bringing um, the digital and the classical techniques back into play and spark. I'm really excited for this mural because I feel like it would be a way to empower the students. Some of them might not be familiar with Sandra Cisneros because you know they're five years old or you know they might, they might not know her um, personally or her work. But once they see the mural, I feel like there will be a way for them to relate to the author and like the reason why the na the school was named after her. I think it's a really good opportunity for the community to come out and work together and um, help this ladies know it's for everyone. I'm here especially at the Sandra Cisneros Learning Academy to inspire students to find their true voice.